Ferrari is almost there. The 2025 Formula One season is about to begin, and as always during this time of year, one of the most interesting traditions is the first ignition of the power units. All teams do it, providing a preview of the sound of the current 1.6-liter turbo V6 engines. This process is technically known as a fire-up. The teams share through their official communication channels the roar of the engines in the presence of team members, who watch with satisfaction as their efforts come to fruition with the engine mounted on the new single-seater. This is an important and significant milestone for the teams, as it essentially marks the conclusion of the design phase of the new car. Given the development freeze on hybrid turbo engines since September 2022, as mandated by the International Federation, this ritual might seem redundant. In reality, it requires a highly complex preparation process that inevitably impacts all components of the power unit. Before igniting the engine, engineers must complete several tasks. Among these, the most important are the examinations that technicians must carry out, checking all the parameters related to the various components of the power unit and the car. Only when all indicators meet the required criteria within the desired range is the engine started. It is a delicate yet liberating operation that officially kicks off the Formula One season. Among the teams that have already conducted the first test on their power unit is Ferrari, making it an ideal moment for us to take a closer look at the work done by the Marinello engineers and technicians in recent months. The prancing horse has followed a detailed checklist required for starting an F1 engine to prevent damage to its rotating parts and associated components. This is done while ensuring that the battery pack, namely the energy store, is fully charged before ignition. During the startup phase, the engineer's computers are connected to the engine control unit in order to monitor the parameters of all power unit components. The next step is bringing the power unit to a specific temperature. This occurs even before the engine starts running. The ICE, or internal combustion engine, is heated by a specially designed external pump that circulates warm coolant inside it. The reason is simple. It is necessary to prevent abrasion of the moving components. The engine is heated to about 80 degrees Celsius using an external pump. At this stage, compressed air is also introduced to compensate for potential losses in the pneumatic valve system. When both the engine and the oil have reached the optimal temperature, the engine still cannot be started because its internal components are not yet lubricated. Ferrari used an electric starter to introduce lubricant into the circuit, ensuring circulation within the internal combustion engine. This step guarantees that pistons, piston rings, bearings, connecting rods, and other internal elements are covered with a thin layer of oil. Once the operating temperatures and pressures were optimal, the V6 engine of the Ferrari roared to life, delighting the ears of those present at the sporting headquarters. The all-red Formula One engine was started using a simple and practical starter motor under the close supervision of experts led by Italian engineer Enrico Gualtieri, who is currently serving as head of power unit for Scuderia Ferrari. The Italian engineer meticulously monitored the entire procedure to achieve the set objective. The engine idled. One only needs to listen to the audio released on Ferrari's social media channels to confirm this. It ran at around 3,000-4,000 revolutions per minute. The water temperature initially dropped to 60 degrees Celsius due to circulation in the cooling system, before quickly rising back to approximately 80 degrees Celsius within a few seconds. Attentive users will have noticed the new designation of the Italian engine for the upcoming championship. According to information reported by various well-trusted Italian news media outlets, the power unit homologated for the 2025 Formula One racing season should be named 06615. This is the last power unit from the Italian team before the technical revolution that will drastically change engine architecture starting from the 2026 F1 season. The strict regulations imposed by the governing body have frozen the development of the core components of hybrid turbo units. Nevertheless, the set of modifications allowed by the regulations includes several aspects, secondary perhaps, but still capable of improving engine performance, both technically and in terms of efficiency and reliability. Some strategic adjustments can also influence the aerodynamic setup of the project. From what we know, Ferrari has carried out precise fine-tuning on various elements, with the clear goal of making the power unit that will drive the two SF25 cars in the upcoming World Championship even more effective. Ferrari has modified some external components related to the temperature management system. 
an area where the Marinello team realized it could extract additional performance potential, also considering the new aerodynamic configuration of the car. Like other parts of the vehicle, the Italian team has worked hard to refine its strengths, and the 06615 power unit will be one of them. After all, we know how much of a difference an engine can make in terms of qualifying performance with a power boost or over a 300-kilometer race distance through improved efficiency and reduced fuel consumption. With just over a month left until the start of the 2025 Formula One World Championship and only a few days until the presentation of the cars that will compete in the upcoming season, the team's factories are experiencing frantic days as they prepare their new single-seaters. These cars, in essence, resemble puzzles that, piece by piece, are gradually coming together, with every component finding its place without issues. Just a few days ago, Ferrari shared a short video on its social media channels featuring the first roar of the new power unit, an indication that the engine has been installed in the chassis of the new car, the ignition was successful, and the SF25 single-seater has begun to take shape. Following the traditional fire-up at the Ferrari Racing Department facility in Marinello, which was attended by key figures such as Chief Executive Officer Benedetto Vigna, Vice President Piero Ferrari, and Deputy Team Principal Jerome D'Ambrosio, the assembly of the SF25 car is progressing in the Vehicle Assembly Department of the Italian Sides Building. According to sources close to Ferrari, this process will continue until the days immediately preceding the car's unveiling on February 18th and its shakedown at the Furano circuit, which is scheduled to take place the following day. In the coming days, after the power unit, the floor and rear diffuser will be installed, followed by the completion of the bodywork and wings. The car will then be sent for stickering in a week before being handed over to the communications department for the official photos and videos for the presentation. The new car, in addition to being assembled without issues, appears promising based on initial simulation data, thanks to several innovations, including the introduction of a new front suspension. This has created an air of enthusiasm among the Marinello technicians and engineers. However, as always, these numbers are confined within the team and have not been compared with those of rivals, whose progress could be either smaller or significantly greater. For this reason, some sources close to the Italian side have expressed doubts about this optimistic atmosphere at Ferrari, especially considering past experiences. Every time the Marinello team has made changes to the front suspension, such as between 2012 and 2015, when, as in 2025, a pull rod configuration was adopted, the results have never been particularly impressive. Therefore, until the first real data and driver feedback arrive, this enthusiasm might seem excessive. As always, only the stopwatch and the track will reveal who is right.